signing Sean Johnson. What a week for Sean Johnson. Not only signing an extension for one more season. Father for the second time on Friday, so congratulations to the Johnson and Cullen Fano. Lovely to see the acknowledgement too for Adam Fanua Blake. He played his 150th NRL match last week. Isn't it great to see where the game has gone to now that you get to walk out with your kids, your family, your purpose, the whole reason for why you play the game again. Dylan Walker is 200th game last week. And of course a big day last week too for Wade Egan who played his 100th NRL game last week. Amazing that so many milestones happened in the same match. But to be honest, Monty, I suspect that all of that's history now and there's something much more pressing on those players' minds as we welcome Jared Sutton to Mount Smart Stadium. He's the referee for the clash today and in the bunker this afternoon is yeah, Matt Noyan, who is the senior review official. Gotcha, mate. Oh, we're all pumped up for this game, no doubt about it. Yeah, no worries. Tom Allen, there he is, his first start in an NRL career. Debut back in 2020. One try in his career. Clear. Round 20 action underway here in Auckland. Thank you for joining us. The Warriors going to have the, the possession Four opening seconds and that's a little good start. We'll take it on the 20. Barnett with the promotion of Ali to start. Barnett is back on the edge for this game. He's in the second row, wearing 10. Today, Ali gets his first touch. And you get driven back to by some decent defence there from the Sharks. Brayley in their knee quarter as well. And now Fanua Blake is averaging. 58 minutes per game this season, 146 metres per game. He's having a fantastic season. Nickel Crookstar handles for the second time. Good opening set here for the for the Sharks defensively. They kept the Warriors pinned inside their own half. And out it, down it comes to Will Kennedy. He was, of course, set off in a game against the Warriors last year. And he's driven back nicely. That's good deed, oh, Monty. We know how dangerous he can be with ball in hand. Gonna let him know the intentions to clear straight away. Nice and early. Halakai. There's Braley a dummy half. Hines fires it on to Jesse Ramian. Having a good season too is Jesse Ramian. Eight tries, game number 17. He's played all the games this season with Guinness. He's taken over at 13 with Fanukin back next week from suspension. Braley. Now it's Cole Fusi, former Eels player. Last tackle now. And there's Heinz's tick, kick, rather. Nickel Crookstar, the target of that one. Pretty conservative start from both sides so far, Monty. That's an arm wrestle. Mentioned four versus six, both sides very evenly contested in terms of their firepower and ability, what they can do across the park. Early on, the same risk is going to be important, very crucial. There's Pompey, over the 20 he goes, but he's not going. Any great lengths up the field, some good defence coming from Nikora once again, Ale. A key man off the bench this season, he's really given some good service, 25 minutes per game, he's been averaging off the bench, now Barnett gallops into the line. Warriors are not even at their 40, so this is a good defensive opening here from the Sharks as Johnson kicks downfield. And now here comes Sione Katoa. And he and Mulitalo, great to watch on the wings for the Sharks. Here's Ramian again. Yeah, both brilliant. You know they can finish try. hat trick last week from Katoa, but Yard is just as potent. He's put in the quarter. Towards the halfway line he goes. Brayley, McInnes, shifting it this time for Toby Rudolph, who was signed a contract to join the Warriors at one stage, but then stayed at the Sharks. It's a few years ago now as Hines runs towards the line, drifting towards the sideline. Up, looking at the touchy there. For knock on as Matt Moylan hoists. No one particularly keen to take that one. 
That's really messy from the Warriors' perspective. Still the last tackle. Hines will look for some space as Ramian nudges it through this time. Pompey awkwardly bouncing ball. And it's going to be forced line, boys. in Real goal. It's going to be a line dropout. Line. Well, it all came from that bouncing ball, Monty. They didn't take it on the full. Plenty of Warriors in the picture, as we see. This is the end of it now. So he takes the ball well in the field of play. But it's Katoa who gets him across the line and really puts the pressure on early here. First time back-to-back -back set against the Warriors. Short Johnson. To restart here. Look like he's going short again. This time, good little fake. Look at the distance on that kick. It's a beauty. Beautifully taken there by two. Toby Rudolph. And here, come fly. here comes the big fella. He timed that to perfection, didn't he? Oh, he's been good, Toby Rudolph. He's been very strong early on with him without the ball. Here's McInnes. He's looking to slow the play. This has been the feature of the game so far as the ruck speed from both teams has been nothing particularly startling in that area. That's a good shot there on Wilton. Coming in from Short Johnson. Barnett got him right in the ribcage. Moylan. Here's Heinz in. Here comes Kennedy. Kennedy almost through. Good tackle from Metcalf. Who, like Johnson, is playing against his former side. Here's Hines, nice and flat. Goes Nico Hines. That's the goal line right there. Hey, last tackle release. Last play now for the Sharks. Who've made a very solid start. It's a crash play. Is that a try or is he held up? Nickel Klukster with and a try saving tackle. Loss. He's so good. Without the ball, defensively, always sound. That time he did a great job for his side, under pressure. Push up markers. No tackles. Stops him just over the line. Brilliant work. Now it's the outside backs coming in. Well, honey, hit him, hit him he smiled. That was a near thing, wasn't it? Oh, it sure was. And just the early touches from Nico Hines. You can see his influence in the game with the Sharks playing both sides of the field. Big set needed here from the Warriors. Uh, got to give a shout out to Metcalf, who is he who, in fact, Went in and made the try saving tackle first penalty of the contest. Goes to the Warriors. It's taken six minutes. Well, it's Metcalf on the left. It was Sean on the right. It was a big shot by Sean earlier on in that set. We see Toby Rudolph bring it as well. He's got some bad intentions. Well, we've seen teams come to and beat the Warriors this season. Pretty impressive performances from the Ravenos and the Eels in particular. There's the shot. Sean Johnson. Left shoulder. Plays the smack down. It was a beauty, wasn't it? So now the Warriors have some field position for the first time in the game. Here's for Noah Blake. He's right on the 30. Execution last week against the Eels was top quality. Let's see what Johnson can do here. Jackson Ford on the coming up to the 20. Egan. Harris, nice and short again. Good run by Torhu Harris. Now the Sharks on their goal line. For Noah Blake, Johnson. Jackson Ford received the ball. Last play now, Johnson taken there. So someone else is going to have to step up with the kick. It's going to be Luke Metcalf. He's kicking for Watton, he's a Lesniak. Wasn't a bad kick there, wasn't it? And that is going to be Sharks ball. Well, it's a chance now to get them in the corner, defensively aim up, jam Front them in. A little bit too much weight on that, needed to come Hold. down a bit more. Ulitalo. Martins Alisniak. What a competition. And Talakai on this left edge. Lethal, aren't they? Talakai and Mulitalo. That is going to be an edge that won't want any space at all. Here goes Wilton with that carry. Now McInnes. Rucks be better from the Sharks here. They're getting a nice roll on here as they come out from their own end. Here's Moylan taking a carry. That was Brayley. Now there goes Nico Hines again. The quarter getting through the tackle there of Montoya. High tackle ruled there, I think. You can see Katoa indicating to the referee that he thought it was high. Makes matters worse that it was late in the set. Fourth tackle. Get the infringement. 
high tackle, which means they get more position down the centre of the field as well. You've seen them being held up over the line. That's Montoya. He ran around the chin area there. Actually hit he caught it on the arm, but it's been ruled a high tackle, so he's OK. No HIA required. Brady waits a dummy half again. There goes Moylan on the short side. In fact, it's McInnes. And now here comes Nick Order then. He's just a couple metres out. They had a strong start here, the Kiwis back rower. Nico Hines. Moylan has it. This is Wilson. Teague with eight metres out. Brady again. McInnes. The tackle from Barnett, two metres out. Moylan. This is good play from the Sharks. Hines strolls through. And there's the first try. Comfortable score for Nico Hines. It's 4-0. Coming in at 5. Brilliant. Nico Hines, he goes in untouched. He's been out there, ball on the string. He's been showing short, giving long. He's been everywhere. He's been on either side of the paddock, left, right, through the middle. That's what he does, he gets his hands on the ball, and this time he goes through untouched, hardly hit him. Oh, he's been the mastermind in this opening 10 minutes, hasn't he? As you see the try celebrations there. He's been in hot form. He's actually scored a try in his past two games, and he gets his third three games in a row. He's in great form. Yeah, Hines, fourth try of the season, getting through that tackle, Pompey. We have no chance there. Beautifully executed try. Let's go back down to the play the ball speed. You mentioned the success they've been having in the Sharks. they rolling through that middle. And at last hit to come down into this territory. And then you get the penalty to boot. All a little bit too much. You're right, that penalty. It's off the back of that penalty. And Marcelo Montoya conceded. So here's Hines. One goal has kicked this season. He saw 79%. Guides it through nicely. Great start for the Sharks. It is six points to nil. in the end, didn't it? All the good work was done in the lead-up. That time you got your half-back outside, Matt Moylan. Just everywhere. Plays a different type of a half roll, more of a hybrid version of a full-back and half. But it does it so well. Just gonna wait that clock, Adam. Time you're running, guys. Well, in that game, I mentioned before Will Kennedy, when he was sent off, Hines is basically playing two positions for the rest of the game. And he was very good. Ramian takes the kick off. Let up now, Jim. 14 for him in this one. In his NRL career. Here comes Kalfusi. Wait up now, Mitchell the way. Hold. Go to. Looking born player, of course. Oregon Kalfusi. Now Rudolph. He's tackled on the 30. Give room now, Mitch. Hold here. Hold. Push up, Marcus. Go three. Get a defence so far in the set from the Warriors. McInnes. Oh, they got the crowd fired up, didn't it? The big Moylan. argue. Moylan. Good run from him. And now Hines, plenty of time to nudge that kick forward. There's Marcelo Montoya. Try scorer last week, of course, on two occasions. Well, both teams are completing at 100% in the game so far, but the Warriors have been basically having all in their own half of this game so far. It's largely due to the play of the ball speed and all lack of it for the Warriors. They're doing a wonderful job getting their numbers in and slowing it down. The Sharks have done a very good job so far in this game. Barnett on the halfway line. Egan. Now for Noor Blake again. Still four. No semblance really of any tackle bus last either or bending of the line hold. from the Warriors so far in this game. Last, Johnson the kicking from the 40. Willie Tullow under this one. And he's going nowhere there. Great chase from Luke Metcalf. Great kick. Rocco there as well. Here's Tullow. Let up now. Lock in time. Hold Adam. Go two. 
Here's Muli Tallow. Harrison there making a tackle. He made eight in the game. Here's Katoa. Simone Katoa watching him play. He's all arms and legs and power. Here is Nico Hines. So the Sharks pinned inside their 40. Collins not got a good connection there from Matt Moylan. And Nico Crookstar. Surrender! He's set on the 30. It's been quite game so far, other than that really good set so far from the Sharks, which saw Nico Hines go over. Now Watson is a Lesniak. Here's Johnson. Just needed one more player out on his, off his right shoulder there to create something. Barnett. That's a good run from Barnett. He's trying to spark up his team. He's already run for 50 metres. No penalty coming. There's Johnson handles again on the fifth tackle. They're up very quickly on Metcalf. Well aware of Metcalf's running game. Johnson kicks from the 40 for the second straight set. Same kick down to Muli Talo, and it's the same chaser, Rocco Berry, who's got him. Oh, he's safe. Muli Talo, wonderful job. Rocco Berry. Martinez and Lesniak refusing to give in, trying to... Wow, here's the first contentious decision of the game. The Warriors going to challenge this one. Here we go, mate. Boys, this is a penalty. Hey? What's the penalty for? It's over, mate. It's been 10 seconds. No, 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 no. It, it is Sean. You've got to come before that, mate. 10 seconds is gone. We're back now. Time your run. Hines gets the penalty. Let's Hold have here. a look here. Hold! Go, no tackles. Yeah, keep going. It's a tough call there on Berry, isn't it? They what do you reckon? Ball on. Berry's oh, leg, no doubt about it. Here and hold! Go one, still yard. Brayley. McInnes. Winton. It's important though for the Warriors to get hold. that out of their heads now and Go defend two. the set. Here's McInnes. Very honest football, Go isn't he, Cam McInnes? That's well above his weight, too. Isn't he? Here's Mo Moylan. Hines, good short ball, and he caught up. Keep room now, Adam. Hold! Go four. Two tackles left in the set. Hines. Involved in everything. Now Will Kennedy. Will Kennedy almost oh, getting through. Marcus. Go last. Adam gets square. Very good set coming here from the Sharks as Hines kicks for Muli Talo. Still last. Backwards, still last. Moylan keeps it going. Hines has got it again. Talakai great hands to Muli Talo. What an is it, Lesniak? What a play from him. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So much on the line position against him. He needed to come up with a big play. A big play it was. The sideline, everything there was against a beautiful stoppage on his foot, trapped the ball nicely, still got the ball stayed in play. Well done, Dallin. Yeah, got the crowd involved, but quite down there, honey, so far, isn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what, the crowd is getting in behind. They're loving the matchup between Dallin and Ronaldo. They're going tip for tap, really, those two specifically in that aerial battle. Oh, there's a big shot from Tahu. Well, you don't see that normally. Talakai coming out second best. It's Berry now hitting the line. This is better from the Warriors. Watson is a Lesniak. Johnson. Still kicking from the 40. Good chase from Pompey. It's Katoa takes it brilliantly there for the Sharks. Oh, look. A lot of work to do there for Katoa. Injury for the Sharks. Teague Wilson has been carried off by two trainers at the moment. Off the tunnel he goes. Looks like his right knee is toast. That's a bit of a blow for the Sharks. So that's seen Wade Graham come onto the field. No doubt about it, T. Walton has been given a job to run in Sean Johnson all day. Made a beeline for him early on. Sean was up to the task, though. Tell you what, not a bad replacement to bring on, right? Wade Graham. He's a legend of the game. Absolutely, he's only been averaging 28 minutes per game this season. He might have to do a bit more now in this one. Switch kick there from Hines, comfortably handled by Watani Zalesnia. Good tackle from Brayley for the Sharks. 
tackling machines in the NRL. 39 tackles per game for the Sharks hooker. Then a carry. Hines concedes the penalty. The Warriors have woken up, so too have this crowd really getting behind them. Mentioned his name a few times so far, Toby Rudolph. Really has led the way for the Sharks outfit. Kick from Johnson. So you see that penalty. Tremendous kick from Johnson. He's made 40 metres there. We see Heinz going on with it and paying the price. But now he has a big chance for the Warriors. They've not they've only been down inside the 20 on one occasion in 18 minutes. From the shark so far has been watertight. Brilliant. No gaps, not even the semblance of something. Oh, that was a flat pass. Could have been forward there. Away with that one. Will Blake plays it. Dylan Walker. Johnson. Watani. No, it's a not hitting to Watani. He's a lesson here. Sharks hit it. Up it up quite nicely there on Rocco Berry. Egan. Here's Johnson. It's Walker again. Now Metcalf. Tom P. Good shot right there from Kato, who jammed in really well. Oh, he couldn't get those quick hands going. Egan. Walker again. Ooh, Harris just getting in front there. Lucky to get away with that one, perhaps. Egan on the last. There's Johnson. And here's Watson. He's out for the corner. And there is the try for Dallin Watani Zalesniak, 14th this season. Oh, the crowd are up there on their feet. They're clapping. A lot of noise. It's for that man with the locks. Side to side, the Warriors have been brilliant. So too has the defence of the Sharks, but this time it's, it's a case of catch and pass. All they had to do after holding width on the sideline was catch that ball and put it down. Wow, oh, honey, that was very good set there for the Warriors. They attacked right, then they went left again and came back right. It was really good to watch. Yeah, real key for Sean there. He's taking it tight into the line, committing all the defenders, and leaving that two-on-one with Shans and Dylan. He almost jogged over that line. He gets one back for the Warriors. Great try. having a great season. 12th game of the season, he's averaging more than a try a game. Great play from Chance Nickel Crookstar as well. Try assist to him there. Must be very good. Both sides have had really good shape in it. Asking questions of the opposition defensively. The Sharks were good for a very good period of the, the game. At that time, it was a little bit too good. Johnson's up to his season's goal kicking percentage to 80%. To some good performances from him in the last couple of weeks. He's only missed one attempt from nine. Tough one to start, though. He's got a slide across the face. So, six to four. Try and goal to Nico Hines. Now, try to Dallin Watanese Alessio. Stop scoring tries. Came back from that injury earlier on in the year. I think it was a calf from memory, wasn't it? Played one game in the New South Wales Cup. He scored four tries in that game as well. I think it's giving everyone a hit start, Glenn. Now he's been a fine form. Both wingers actually. He's scoring great tries. And chat with the sideline judge there. Carry himself. Sixth it up in the game. Hold. He's got 53 metres from 10 carries. He's been very good. As he flips between that roll, right? Right edge and into the middle. Equally at home and either. Trace Wales has been around for a very long time. Smart man. Bigger body too. That just gives you a little bit more defence or attack. Here's Walker. He's made a big difference off the bench too. This is looking good here. Away goes Montoya. Montoya bursting through. 
good attack on the short side. Marshalled there by Dylan Walker. Here's Metcalf. Metcalf with that step. That's a good tackle right there by Nikora. He's having a fine game for the Sharks. Here's the kick from Johnson. Berry chasing through. Beautifully taken by Ronaldo Mulitalo. Oh, he's good. Just got up so high. No pressure whatsoever. And looked to falter. Took it brilliantly. Whelan. That's in the dummy half. Here's Wade Graham. What a career he's had. Looking for the penalty, not coming. The referee Jared Sutton says there's a square marker there. So now the squeeze is just on the Sharks a bit more now, isn't it? The Warriors getting a bit more field position as Montoya gets set to return with interest. Oh, he smashed. That's a good shot there from Brayley. Brayley's been good. Cut him in half, got underneath Raymond over the top. Nickel Cook over the halfway. He's just getting a bit more ruck speed now. He's watching his Alisniak. Egan. Johnson standing nice and short this time, looking for Metcalf. There's a good run from Ford. Almost getting through the tackle there of Rudolph, I think it was. Just got an ankle, Rudolph. Walker. Johnson. Here comes this right side attack again. Oh, good shot there from Talakai. Good start. Deciding to hold the ball there. Here goes Johnson's kick. It's ricochet beautifully there for Will Kennedy. So the Sharks have it 10 metres out. There's Talakai. Good tackle from Dylan Walker. He's been excellent since he's come on, Monty. Come on, a little bit earlier than normal. So what's these outside backs here? Katoa, Ulitalo. The yardage really does help the shark side. Good shot coming in right there on Jack Williams, who's out there now for the Sharks. Braley, Nikora, really has semblance of a slight overlap there. This fort goes in to complete the tackle on Britton Nikora. Hines gets the ball out of there. Dalawatan is Lesniak. Chased through by that left edge defence by the Sharks. Keep room now, that hole. Front foot hit camp. Go one. Here's Berry with the next carry. What oh, strong carry. Now the Sharks were hunting him. It was a slow play of the ball. Now, chance to cook hook start. Two tries in the game. One to each side. Here's Metcalf. This game last week. Good to see him getting a. Try, a couple of try assists too in that game last week alongside the tries. These were a little disorganised on that last play, weren't they? Egan. Now Barnett. That's why they were a bit disorganised. Now Harris has come from the field. Interesting call there. Johnson. Shot ball to Curran. Interesting to see Harris being substituted after 25 minutes. Yeah, As we see Egan. Walker. The raw black remains out there. He's about to come into the game. A touch more now for Noor Blake. They're inside the 10. Last play now for Egan. Here's Johnson again. Oh, what a pass! Rocco Berry! Oh, yes! Love that try. You love it, Rocco Berry loves it too. So does the stadium here. Go Media Mount Smart. It's something that they need. They're still embracing the young man. The big specimen that he is. First was the short ball showing early on. He goes a bit of a baseball there, but still under his line coming down on the inside shoulder. Rocco Berry making a beeline for it. Too big, too strong, honey. Well, the right edge is causing all sorts of trouble for the Sharks. And I'll tell you what, it all comes down to players in motion. You can see the likes of Mitch Barnett running the lead line, Josh Curran. They're all viable options. And Sean picks his defender out here perfectly well. Rocco straight through the hole of Talakai. Great try from the Warriors.
Well, we saw the All Blacks succeed on this very ground last night. Of course, Rocco Berry's dad was an All Black, Marty Berry. Big man from White and Upper Bush. And now, and that Rocco Berry scores. Against the Warriors in front for the first game. Tohu down here and he is getting his wrist strapped up. Looks like he had a few aches and pains with it, but looks like they'll just strap him up and get him back out there as soon as possible. Good stuff, honey. Thank you for that. Yes, highly unusual to see Harris substituted after 25 minutes. Unless there's a problem. Johnson's second kick here of the game. A much handier position and he converts that one. So he's one for two on the afternoon. It is 10 points to six. The Warriors leading with 13 to play until half time. Great line run by Berry. Oh, look, there was two, two men in the picture there. Isolating defenders, one short, one a little bit wider than the next man. With a little face ball option, a short one too. Run perfectly. Held the ball up nicely. Got into the bread basket. Harris still getting that wrist strapped. Got Thomas Hazelton coming on now for Oregon Kalfusi. So Sharks making some early changes. Hazelton's a beast. It's uh, up there for the Sharks. It's for Noah Blake with Graham Adam lined up. Graham is capable of wall and capable of making big shots. Josh Curran. Good to see him back in the Warriors jumper after a couple of weeks off. It's Harris there. Got that right wrist strapped. He's in no hurry, really, to come back on, either. Barnett. These others have to step up. He hasn't walked done a brilliant job. It's another strong carry from him. One of the buys of the season. Any club. Brilliant for the Warriors. Here goes Johnson inside the 40. Inside the 40, yes! It's a 40-20. The first one for the Warriors this season. Well, when your team needs you and you're the marquee signing or player, you need to step up. One of the most experienced is just celebrating 200 games last year for the club. Only the fifth man to do it in the Warriors' history. He says you need a big play. How about that, Sean Johnson? Oh, that's a big play right there. What a chance now for the Warriors to score their third try in a row. Walker. That leg speed. And the ruck speed to Monty. Look at them line up on the right flank here for Noah Blake. There's another one. Three in a row. Leg speed, ruck speed. Just poetry in motion. And big motion too as they check this one out. They're going to have a look at it. Well, he's seen the coconut there. He's awarded the try. That's important. There's that 40 20 again. Absolutely perfect there from Johnson. And then Johnson involved there with a short ball. And there we are, honey. Thick thighs, score tries. Well, how good is that? Bust into two, three defenders. And I'll tell you what, over 80% of the Warriors' tries are generated through that good ball zone and through the middle of the field. And Adam adds to his try tally for the season. Great work. It's been a few weeks since he got one. Sixth try of the season. Well, how fitting. They're in the Heritage Jumper. If you think about the try celebrations over the years, let's go back 20 years to a man, Henry Fafili, a little bit wider, who did the coconut. Yes. You saw the coconut just there from Adam van Blake. That's what you're referring to. Thank you for clarifying that. Now, what about Johnson's conversion here? Very slow start. Gee, the Warriors have just absolutely executed brilliantly in the last 10 minutes. 16 to 6. Well, they come alive. The majority of their points have been through the middle of the field. And when you've got shape and you've got numbers like that, with Sean Johnson going to the line, really does put the defender in two minds, especially when you're under fatigue. There we go. There's the coconut. <laughs> he takes a sip. Henry Fafili, wherever you are. That one's a throwback, man. Oh, 
Uh, it's funny how momentum can shift in games, can't it? You think back 20 minutes ago, it was all the Sharks, wasn't it? They just executed really well in the first 10 minutes, both with and without the ball. And here is Fenor Blake again. Up down top! Lock in square, hold! Go on, Garnage. Here's Barnett. Let up down two! He's already run Lock almost 100 metres. They've still got 10 minutes to go in the first half. Walker's line speed again, very impressive. Hasn't he changed the game many times when he comes on from the bench? Now the Warriors rolling through again. Oh, oh, oh. Sides have been able to stop this roll on up the middle as Egan goes scampering. Egan! Metcalf right there! There's a fourth try! Oh, yes, lock it in! There is not one person that is sitting down here. Echo Media Mount Smart Stadium. Luke Metcalf gets his old side. He scored two last week. He brutal with the ball in hand when he ran. That time he's feeding off Wade Egan. We celebrated a milestone last week. He had the choice of himself. And Nicol Gluckstadt he gave it to his inside man. Puts his hands up and goes, how about this, honey? Oh, Wade. Wade Egan's running game has just been exceptional this year. He continues to grow, but Luke Metcalf, he decides they want some action down the left side. And look at that, his first try against his old team. Metcalf. Let's talk about players taking their opportunities this year. Metcalf coming in, wants to Mighty Martin. Broke his foot. Metcalf had his injury problems earlier on as well. What he is beautiful support play and that pass and break from Egan was top quality. Well, speaking of injuries, we won't see a return from the second row at Teague Wilton tonight as he's come back out on crutches, unfortunately. So that's the end of his night out here. That's a big blow for the Sharks. He's been excellent all season. Big NG back rower. And isn't it? Ironic too. The Johnson's kicks have been getting easier as they've been scored. That one, 22 to 6. And well, there goes Egan. Great runs prior to Egan's break there. I tell you, that pass had to be spot on there, Monty. There were blue jumpers everywhere there. Timing's been brilliant. It's been beautiful out of dummy half. The awareness, the ability to get out as well with, and execute what he sees in front with the triggers. We saw the beach there at the moment for the Sharks, but they ruled them out. Oh, it's a big blow. That is a serious injury there. Huge loss for Teague Walton. Yeah, real bummer for him. What about the Warriors? Three tries in six minutes. Berries, Fenor Blakes, and Metcalfs. 25th to the 31st minute. It's a scoring blitz for the home team. He's a Leslie Axe in the 19th. That's four tries in 12 minutes. Look at that possession stat. The Warriors just... Uh, well, it's no surprise the Sharks haven't touched the ball in the last few minutes because the Warriors just keep scoring tries. Yeah, you think about this for the Warriors side when you've got Captain Tony Harris off the field, normally the one who's creating all the havoc in the middle. That's right. Johnson inside the 40, that 40 20 is critical as well. And now the Sharks are finally going to get some possession. And their defensive systems have really collapsed. They've missed 14 tackles now in the game already. Warriors have made five line breaks in this first half. Brayley, well, someone has to spark up now. It's Kennedy with the ball. Jackson, you've got to get close up. Push up, bitch. Go that playing the ball was Jack Williams. That's good play. Here goes Kennedy. Sharks putting together a good set here. Here goes Moylan's kick. Tom Jack. Watanis Alesniak. And it's the Sharks inside the 10. Teaching, you've been teaching some dance moves there for Watton is Lesniak Monty. That's a shame for the Sharks to tell you what, that outside backs with it. 
an amazing set from them and Yano just to get down the other end of the field. And that's all it is, Matty. Yano Portway. Wayne Graham's on report. Try and pick that up for you. Study hard. Get behind there, Dallin. So Wayne Graham's been put on report. Here goes Johnson. Coming off another 30 minutes. Look at Graham here. Oh, it's a foot trip. No, he actually could have bring down Watanese and Lesnar. Don't think there's too much in that one, Mons. No, it's reactionary. It's one of the great guys in rugby league. Tell you what, though, the Warriors don't need this, this support. They don't need help coming out of their own head at the moment. Current good hands from him. Just overran the pass a touch. Egan. There's Walker again. For all Blake. He's played the whole first half. Just over 100 metres now from nine carries. That is his 10th carry right there. Now Walker again. Johnson with beautiful running ball again. Berry. Berry almost bursting through. Last play is the Warriors. Going to the 20 again. There's a great kick off. It is just on a string. Hang on. Hang on. I don't think it was on, Glenn. We've got him offside. Well, Metcalf's offside. They reckon. He's, he's fast, he is, is fast, but I don't think kick. he's that fast. It's very close. I think you find he's in front. Luke Metcalf on the left side is in front of Sean Johnson, the kicker. Half a step in it. He then takes possession of the ball. We have a decision. Wow. Close call there for the Sharks. But what a play again from the Warriors. This is what we're liking, honey. It's the variety in their attack at the moment. It's just really confusing and unsettling their opponents. Oh, absolutely, and it puts the Sharks on alert. That would have been a pre-planned move. And now the Sharks need to be aware of that, especially out on that open fringe. Hines now. Hazelton. Oh, he's a big lad. It's a big lad. Game 11 for him this season. The tries in his season so far. Now Braley, four minutes to play until half time. The Warriors have put together a four try blitz in 12 minutes during this first half. Here's Moylan. Kennedy looked a little clunky there on that right side, didn't it? For the Sharks as Kennedy eludes defenders. <laughs> well, he got him eventually. Mitch Barnett. Was he missing, was he? Nice ball from Williams. Here's an op option. Nice option there from Hines. Oh, it's a dangerous bouncing ball. And there was a tough one there for Nickel Crookstart. Yep, scrum. Down the middle. Put that up. down to the footsteps Shot of Cartola. Ramian really coming down, pushing for the scrum. side. We're on the shot clock, a bit here, boys. With that one. We're on the shot clock here. That Make last sure bounce hold. was really awkward. Make sure you hold. Don't go early here. Wait for the call chance. Yep. Facial expression said it all chance. now. Taught at the Warriors Stop defenders. Let's see if they can hold out here. Let's go, Jesse. Let's go. Three. So Hines not feeding the scrum. Looking to cook something up straight away. Katoa. Oh, no. That's missed. He hasn't found the corner. Well, that's no try. But I'll tell you line. what. We have no try. Nico Hines. The way he can get inside and outside a player, and in a way, was brilliant. We've already seen it in the first half. This is Montoya coming across. Cartol, we've seen them score these tries many times, gets up nice and high. There is no grounding, and the ball goes out, touching goal. We have a decision. Well, Montoya just Front doing enough there, honey. That's Front great defence from Montoya. And on Pompey. Point. Getting Zero turned coming. inside out from Nico Hines. Got to be aware hold. of that. Move your line up a lot more aggressively. Nico Hines with a whisker though there of creating a try. Oh, beautiful Nico Hines. That's where his daily end player last year. Ford gets some heavy defence that time from McInnes. Watson is a Up together, for Noah Blake. Outstanding first half from Adam for Noah Blake. 105 metres 
10 carries, 14 tackles, and a try as well. Johnson, he has looked fantastic in this first half. This season, brilliant season, just rolls on for Sean Johnson. Here's Barnett. Last play now for the Warriors. Johnson kicking for Watani Zalesniak and Rocco Berry again. But Mulitalo for the third time in the first half. Is perfect under the high ball. Oh, he's your perfect winger, really. There's nothing you can't do. Mulitalo has been on today, hasn't it? Had the opportunity down the other end. Each time defusing with his aerial bombs. Hazelton. Good shot on Jack Williams. Experience player to bring off the bench. He's approaching 100 NRL games now. It's a good little break there from Brayley. McInnes. There goes Hines. He gets spiral going. Quite get it going. Montoya. He's been bouncing pretty comfortably for him. And then he spoils it. And here's a late chance in the first half for Talakai, perhaps. Well, they're going to get a sit here to, to finish. Or throw the dice for the Sharks. That was poor hands from Montoya. A real clearing error that the Warriors have made in the first half. Swampy error. Here goes Moylan. Kennedy. Here's Talakai, but he's rolled after by Berry and Josh Curran. Oh, they're strong, Berry. Rocco Berry. Well, now or never for the Sharks if they want to close this gap. Graham looked uncertain there. Hines. Now Williams again. Kicking early in the count. Oh, he's just turned over possession there. Don't know what Jack Williams was thinking there, Monty. I think it's a brain explosion. He wasn't even kicking for himself, you learn another player. And the Warriors are happy to close it out. What an excellent 40 minutes it's been from them. Well, in fact, it was a 20-minute blitz in that first half. Over the middle stages of it, Metcalf. He was one of the try scorers. Watani Zalesniak, Berry, Fenor Blake. Four tries in 12 minutes. Three of them converted by the Warriors as the home team in front by 22 points to six. Hold it, Adam. Good. All right, time your run. Here we are, second half underway. Going to be the Sharks to have the first possession. They completed at 94% in the first half. Outstanding completion rate. Oh, they only Josh. returned six points from that completion rate. So the Warriors have done well to absorb that. No question about it. Now, this is Williams. Going to need a big second half. Pretty much perfection from the Sharks, Moylan. Now Graham, who did a lot of talking at halftime in the Sharks changing room. Here's Kennedy, sniffing around the ruck. That's a good little... Good little search there from Will Kennedy. Now Hines. Montoya. Gave away a penalty in the first half, which led to the first try. In terms of the carries, great set. Disappointed with the finish. Well, the end of the set, really, the kick wasn't really one Come that put pressure on the Warriors. Here we are, White, White Matt. Torby Go Harris through. still. Really interesting to see the Warriors Let win on that three-try scoring here, run in oh, the first half three. in six minutes, Monty, and Torby Harris was on the sidelines. Brilliant. That is a Keep really moving. encouraging sign because Go earlier ball. in the season, everything was going through Harris. Here's for Noah Blake. Exactly right, that's where the side likes to play, through Let's the middle of the go field, go that's go where go their go points go are scored, but normally off that man, 6 foot 5 to who Harris. Johnson, as the Warriors made it back to the halfway line. All the way back it goes to Mulitalo. Thoroughly deserved as Kiwi's call up last year. He'll be sure in this year as well, the way he's playing in fine form, Mulitalo. We'll get some news soon on Kiwi's schedule. Post in our season soon, I'm sure. Ramian plays it on the 30. Here's Katoa. Bounces out of a couple of tackles. Good little run from Katoa. And the offload too. Like that play. Here is Moylan. 
Josh Curran wearing the 12 jersey, but coming off the bench Rubbish. in this game. Lock in square. Go three, Dylan. Here's Hazelton. We're going to play some football on the fourth tackle here. The Sharks. Here's Ramian with a big fan. And it was Jesse Ramian at his best there. Got rid of Pompey initially. Here's Hines, nice and direct. Sharks looking good on the set now. So look for an up tempo start in the second half. Williams almost scoots through. Last play now. Moylan with his hands on the ball. Inside ball to Kennedy. And he's wrapped up. They couldn't get to the kick. In fact, no, no held call. So it's still alive, Talakai. And Berry plucks it out of the air. Well, that's some skills from both sides. The Sharks first coming almost 100 metres, playing the way they do, refusing to dive off the ball and defensively trying to put a stop to that. Good luck. And I see a chance to come out in the yardage. That was a good start to the second half here from the Sharks. There's three minutes, they've asked plenty of questions, Monty. Well, it's like the first start, first half, they really have come out. Throwing the ball around defensively, really hunting. Warriors really need to meet them with the same enthusiasm, same energy. Egan, here's Barnett. Good carry from Barnett, excellent leg drive up towards the halfway line. Johnson. Trying to Sean's dissect Willie Tullow and Kennedy. And Katoa picking up the ball here. Well, the Warriors have done well, Honey, to absorb that initial surge from the Sharks in the second half. Oh, well, they sure have, and it comes down to big hits like this led by Mitch Barnett. I'll tell you what, the temperature has definitely dropped down there, but with a crowd of 28,000 people, nobody is leaving this game. Barnett, he just hunted him, didn't he, Talakai? You saw him coming from a mile away, met him with such force. It was a great ball and all tackle, no doubt about it. Short, now Rocco Berry looks to muscle oh, up on the halfway line here on Williams. McInnes, that's Hines, now Kennedy. Almost a high tackle there for Luke Metcalf, but it's ruled OK. Last play now for the Sharks. Stuck on the 40 is Hines. Doesn't get as much depth, deliberately so. Oh, beautifully caught there by Nikora. And it's Montoya going back into the in goal. Well, they made something from nothing there. Britain, the quarter at his best. Well, that's brilliant stuff from the Sharks. They really are looking lively, trying to promote the ball. Second phase has been good. And so Britain, the quarter getting up nice and high. I thought it was Molotalo or Katoa. The way he flew through the air. All the boots of ball. It's the little things in matches, the little things that change the momentum. We've seen that in the first half. It was really good play by the Sharks. Johnson going back to the short kickoff tactic. Whoops. It's been touched by the Sharks. And the flag is up. Move. Oh, Ford's going to play it, but Sorry, mate. It's gone out. Touch, out. Where's your captain? Where's your captain? Are you challenging? Are you, are you challenging? Okay. They're challenging. Challenging the ruling that it's out of Canella. Yeah. They're cl claiming, Matty, that there is interference on a Canella player trying to go back to the ball. <laughs> that was a dog's breakfast, wasn't it? Out to me, which is not, mate, it's now up there. New Zealand are behind the goal line from the kick. We're playing on at this stage. Just going to the contest. Playing on from the contact on the inside. There you go. Boys, boys. Just been touched by yeah, Katoa like here. Just looking right. to see if there's any touch. I can't talk to you while they're going through it, mate. Just determining here. There's been no touch there by Hines, but watch the touch here from Katoa, Monty. Okay, there's no touch from Nico Hines. The ball is then touched by Sione Katoa. We're playing on this stage. 
And then the ball goes into touch. And I think the regardless, Kim, unsuccessful. Be a Warriors play the ball. Yep, yep. If it wasn't touched yeah. by Cronulla Sharks, okay. but it goes down anyway, yeah, it's the Warriors' the feet. Yeah. And so the regardless, it's the Warriors' feet either way. I think what they were trying to the challenge was the fact that there was an escort yeah, or was there some interference right. from the Warriors. And I think on the replay, the bunker got that one correct. Just took a long time to get there, didn't it? Well, we got the right decision. Curran. Right straight at Matt Moylan. No change for the half-time score. 22 points to six. Four tries to one for Noor Black. There goes that magnificent leg drive up towards the halfway line. Work so hard to get their line speed to come up and get bust that line here, go through like that. Tackle three. We know how key, I think, right at the start of the season, I said to you, you don't need Adam for Noor Black to get injured this year. He's got a little ankle twist there, I think, in that tackle. season all we saw was Scott Berger enjoying himself the former Springboks captain well, we've seen Ben Kennedy now the players cross over and, and be very successful rugby league he would have been a brute on the rugby league field put him on an edge good to see for North Blake he's okay he's gonna hopefully walk off that ankle problem remember Harris is off the field at the moment. Warriors inside the Sharks' half. It's Curran. It's up towards the 30. Last tackle, man. Dug early, Blake. Hold. Just last the mate. Walker. Johnson. Oh, it's play on here, and Hazelton's away. He could go all the way here. Nickel Crookster. He's not going to catch the big fella. Well, that's what the Sharks needed, a stroke of fortune. And that's going to be a try. Well, when you thought the Sharks were going to come back, you were thinking Nicka Hines, Kennedy, Ramian, Talakai perhaps, you did not think that it was going to be Hazelton, the big man, and not from 70 metres out. Look at that, he puts a boot to ball, the flex, he catches it. He is a big, big man. Surely he'll be close to 120. Charles Nickel Klukster comes across on the chase, but not enough. Oh, was it Johnson touched there? But in the end, the try's been awarded, not confirmed yet by the bunker. But there's Hazelton. That's a sight, isn't it? Third try of the season for the prop. It's come off the bench. Oh, did that ball go into the back? If it touches Johnson, Johnson right there, it's going to be a knock on. It's going to be a try, Monty. Ready for the bunker to confirm the try. Hello, oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, Tony, we're looking that after the initials uh, played up with the leg, that it then comes into his arm, and whether there's a knock on and the ball contact, Sean Johnson. Has it touched Johnson? The ball is kicked by Sean Johnson, and then comes off Thomas Hazelton's leg, oh, and yes. then onto his right arm. Oh, there, that angle there was conclusive, wasn't it? The other ones weren't, Monty, but it hit Johnson in the shoulder. Oh, you've got to feel Thomas the ball Hazleton. comes off Thomas Hazelton's right arm, it then makes contact with Sean Johnson, and is knocked on by Cronulla. We Thomas Hazelton, I, I feel for you, <laughs> big man. You were exceptional when you were striding out. Thought it was a clutch play. Only 70 metres. I feel for a bit, but it was the right call. It was the right call, honey. What do you reckon? Oh, heartbreak for Hazelton. The big long stride. No one was even getting close to catching him. I'd say the GPS would have been clocking around 35k. He's got some speed behind him. You would have caught him, honey. I reckon he's taking it down the highlight reel, regardless. Thank you. Uh, in the middle. Oh, Sean Johnson's having quite the week, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Hold, guys. Go early. Head in, Josh. Head in, Wade. Time on. Wait for the and call. Now, the 
the try that we right. thought was scored by Cronulla. What an opportunity here for the Warriors, a full set, 30 metres out. Pressure here on Cronulla to keep this white hot Warriors team from scoring their fifth try. Graham getting close to conceding another penalty there. Oh, and it's messed up, and here comes the Sharks. It's going to be a penalty to the Warriors. Referee Sutton says the Sharks are offside. That's what happens when you're hunting. The Sharks really are with the ball, even defensively trying to do their best to compete, trying to come up with something that can change the momentum of this game. It has to be done within the rules. The energy from the Sharks has been outstanding. And again, they haven't got any points to show for it, Monty. That's the thing, isn't it? from all black. Now. Right on the season's Go average one. now of 146 metres per game. Hit Barnett, got a couple of tries last week against the Eels. Egan, Johnson, Nickel Crookstar, Berry. A lot of blue jumpers there. Scoot it over to get Big Rocco Berry down to the turf. Nickel Crookstar on the fourth tackle. Good tackle from Graham. And also McInnes. Johnson. Short ball to Barnett. Last play now. Last tackle release. Go, last. Mikar, short ball to Ford. Good hands from him. But they won't get to their kick. The Warriors. Still starting to set from the corner. Five metres out. Not the worst result, Monty. Particularly with the score line as it is. Graham heads in straight away. Now the outside backs from the sharp side. What they are going to do in it's much needed right now. Looking up the field, 90 metres to go. Kato was good. Josh, release the grip. He's been go two. Two tries have reached 150 metres. Barnett and Fedor Blake for the Warriors. None have reached 100 for the Sharks so far in the game. Wade Graham takes a carry. Brayley. This is Williams. Last tackle, Jackson, get close. Go last, nothing late. Here's Hines. Just outside the 40 as he goes for height. Jesse, Tom, Jesse. Oh, Chance looking puts those, drop one all season. Here he is, secure again. Go right, Montoya. Fenor Blake comes to the sideline now. He gets a breather after 51 straight minutes for Adam Fenor Blake. And Torhu Harris is going to come back on, it seems. Bailey Surinan's on in the meantime. But Harris has taken his jumper off, and it looks like he's going to get back into the action. Good first carry from Surinan. Mitchell Walker, what he's done off the bench. Surinan as well. He's been very good, especially going into the nine roll. Someone that he's not accustomed to. Working on his game. Passing from dummy half. Metcalf with a good run there. Johnson. Right down to Muli Tullo once again. And again, the Warriors give the big winger no space. He's had a very quiet game, hasn't he, Muli Tullo? He's only run for 26 metres in the game, Monty. I think that's why they've been kicking He's been taking those balls early. He's been doing a fine job, but that just takes him out of the next carry. Just can't get the ball right to him here. Here's Katoa! Who's left Montoya for dead here? And that is some tackle from Chance Nickel Crookstar. He's tucked him dead in his tracks. Colhoun is out there now, wearing 17 for the Sharks, and the Sharks have their first re set restart in the game. Williams. Very good set in. Coming in from the Sharks. Hines. That's Moylan. Good shot ball to Nikora. But Nikas, good tackling there. Made a good, good shot there on Nikora. Brayley, back to Hines again. Short ball. Back to Hazelton, who thought he had that try. Brayley. Hines. This is good for the Sharks. Great hand. Now Molly Teller for the corner. And another shove and a touch. And the Sharks still can't cross the line. Oh, it's been a week for him, Sean Johnson. Signed an extension. Welcome, Sachi James Johnson, to the family as well. A second daughter. That time, 
clutch coming across with a beautiful save. I'll tell you what, Renato Mulatalo, he has scored eight tries in the last eight games against the Warriors, but so far he has been kept out of this game. Yeah, he just can't get good ball out on the flank, can he? And then when he can, like there, Sean Johnson says, nah, you're not crossing the line. He's forward. Forward, not much attacking prowess from him tonight, but he's been a workhorse on defence. He's down 22 tackles in the game. Egan, Egan topping the tackle try tackle count rather for the Warriors 27 in the game so far. Just the resolve of the shark side. Not giving up. They really put it to the Warriors. Kennedy, good return of the football from Will Kennedy. The line really well there. It's been a close, very evenly matched second half so far, Mons. Pretty much like the first half, it is an arm wrestle. Back and forth. Just the energy and the want and really challenging the Warriors with everything that they can, the Sharks. Lines, good shot put in the quarter again. Can't free the arms for the offload though. Hazelton. Good shot there on Jesse Colhoun. Game number two for him this season. Jesse Colhoun, the prop forward. Moylan with the kick. Thank you for Renato Mulitalo. And it's play on and Curran has got the ball. Wondered whether it came forward off a Warriors player there, but Sutton, the referee, was instant in his ruling. Here's Pompey. Stand up now, Jesse. Man licking in the game so far. Ford, nice and direct from Jackson Ford. It's Harris back on the field now. What a luxury to have a break like that for the cap. Been a more than minute player basically in his entire career. It's Johnson. Here's Kennedy with good front foot running ball again. Oh, that's a good tackle there from Ferry. Swallowed him up. He swallowed him up, the big man. Talakai. Force. Oh, oh, tackle here from Berry. He ain't getting through him today. Here's Ramian, who was always a nuisance for opposing teams. Oh, just a very strong, well balanced runner of the ball. And now Hines. Katoa getting into the game really nicely now. He's topped 140 metres for those couple of big breaks. Kalfusi back out there now. Remember the Sharks lost Teague yes. Wilton early in the game due to a knee injury. There goes Moylan with the kick. Martin is a Lesniak. Nickel Kutstar. This is the semblance of a line break and the crowd go ooh and ah. It's great stuff. Now Martin is a Lesniak. Oh, oh that's some contact. Wait, Graham. Where were the arms there? Were there arms in that shot? Here comes Jackson Ford. Clear it, Nico. Hold Jesse. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good enough. There's an arm up. Just, just Outside. Johnson. Nico Hookstar Berry looking to run. Watanisa Lesniak. Rocco Berry. Here's the first try of the second half. Clean break from Rocco Berry. Charles Nico Hookstar. Well, if there's anyone deserving, it's that man, Charles Nuku Klukstar. Yardic, attack, defence, effort on effort, always for his side. Working very hard today too. Captain Zani passes back door, goes back door again. Rocco Berry's having a field day out there. He split the two men from the Sharks, came inside. And who's there? Charles Nuku Klukstar. Berry is just starting to get better and better, honey, with each game. They have highly rated him for a couple of years. He's had his injury problems, but he's got 
all the ingredients to be a very good centre in rugby league. Oh, I just love the combination that he's building with Dylan Watanisaliznik out on that right fringe. And you can see the confidence in him. He's been really good tonight on both sides of the ball. Well done, Rafa Berry. Great support play from Nicol Cookstar. Try number four for him this year. His 11th in his Warriors career. there on Talakai. That was the key moment in the creation of that try. Johnson, three from four in the game so far. This is the thing that's happening, starting to happen regularly now. I think back to the, you know, the last few years, Monty, those 50 metre tries, they just weren't happening at all for the Warriors. But now they're happening quite regularly, and it's different players who are creating them. Variety in which they can score a try from any distance, whether it be within the 20, which is where they like to score most of their tries, or from long range. It just shows you the ability that they've got. The fact that you saw Charles the Cook start, he had a couple of goes in this tackle set. Brilliant there to finish as well, right in front of the supporters. Gets another five grand for worthy cause for try to lie. And yeah, chance we saw it, don't worry. Well, the first points of the second half. It's taken almost 20 minutes. Help! Help! Release Jesse! Get square! Go on, Jesse! Jesse! Here's Walker. Lots of excitement too. There's some football again here, Pompey. Pompey. Tackle on Pompey. Jesse Ramian. He's been really solid in this game for the Sharks. Harris is about to say we still a couple of players lurking in the background, injured at the moment for the Warriors. Players like Chas Tabanga to Mighty Martin. Look on that play there. It's chance again. Johnson. Now Berry. Some football now. Beautiful connection up the middle that time. Last play now. Johnson. Has he measured that kick? Has he measured that kick? Kennedy. Has Harris scored the try? The bunker will need to confirm it. I had no try. Looking, we've got a knock on from Will Kennedy first, and then knocked on by the Warriors before they're able to ground it. Yeah, referee Sutton was right there. Well, Tohu Harris would not be the best actor. The Warriors kick chaser on side. Well, at worst here, Monty, if Jared Sutton's right, the Warriors will get the ball back. Absolutely. Knock on here from Will Kennedy, which is there. The ball is yeah. knocked on by Will Kennedy. Hard luck for Harris. He hasn't scored a try this year yet. Got that try last year in the comeback game against so the Tigers. So you're ruling him out now? Yep. Is that what you're saying? It's like a knock on from Bailey Surin in there. You're not convinced by his acting skills, are you? Just should looking be. for any possible knock on here from the Warriors. I shouldn't make any predictions, should I? I've ruled. Knock on Will first. After the knock on by William Kennedy, the ball comes off Tohu Harris's left arm and he's knocked on in the field of play. We have a decision. Okay, it's no try, but it's a knock on by Will first. Well, well as we said though, honey, the Warriors have got the ball back no, and no, they're going to push first. hard for another try here. Scrum oh, your feet, boys. And they get great field position as well, don't they? And they seem to just have all the momentum. The crowd is up go, go, on their seats. To scrum. Right in behind the Warriors. Warriors the Sharks really struggling to find their way back into this game. Beautiful play uh, from Walker there. Here, so you can go that side. You can't go across there. You're still on, Matty. Matty, you're still on. Exciting break Maddie. again. Seven line breaks in the game for the Warriors. That is a very healthy number. And you know what? All of these fans are going to be back here on Friday in five days because that's when the Raiders hit the town here in Auckland. As we see Egan. Here's Metcalf. Oh, 
hand full. Hold, one foot hold. Egan. Walker. Siren is a decoy there. Pick it up, Dewan. Hold. Go two. Egan. Johnson. Short ball is a beauty to Curran. There's Curran. He's driven over onto the line there. It's a try to Josh Curran. And we think back to round five where Johnson and Curran combined beautifully at the end of that game to get the Warriors over the line, and there they are again. Well, you're a very lucky player if you play outside Sean Johnson, especially when he can give you the ball on the panel like this. Britain the quarter did this for years at the Cronulla Sharks. But this time now, Sean Johnson going to the line. He looks out back, but he had some work to do to Josh Curran. He turned his back, he pushed, he tried it, he tried to get over it. I think momentum got him there in the end. That oh. is why he is on an edge. That is what he does very, very well, honey. Mark, you see him come into the starting lineup here, and he runs this line so well and replaced Walt Maratani Okure, who we'll likely see back in the 12 jersey next week. But Josh Curran, he's making the most of his time out there. And had that ball knocked onto him, there was plenty of options outside him. Down that right edge, once again, ever threatening. Of course, touch on Tavanga and Tomari Murta Martin. And Maratan Yukori coming back from suspension next week as well. They're still checking the grounding here, Josh Curran. That try not confirmed yet by the bunker. We're waiting, waiting, Sean. Time off. Just looking it's, to it's see if Curran it, got to the line. I reckon he did. He must have got over the line yeah, there. We definitely confirmed. saw it on the line. Sorry, mate. They got right, it, it is confirmed now. Oh, no, sorry. Confirmed the try. So Curran's try has finally been confirmed. It's his fourth try of the season, yeah, and for the fifth yeah. time in the last six yeah, games, yeah, the Warriors have cracked 30. Stay up until we have a look they at are scoring heavily at the moment, Monty. All bodes well when you score. Scoring plenty of points, but also defending very well against good Cronulla side. 26 points at the moment. So Johnson kicking at 80% tonight, just missing that first one. that try but still a very comfortable margin for the home team here 26 point margin it's time to get really nrl telstra premiership is heating up as the final series draws near with the competition as close as ever the run for the top eight is well and truly on gear up for tries tribalism golden point thrillers impossible plays 27 rounds of heart-stopping drama telstra premiership is best experience live of course to witness all the action just go to nrl.com slash tickets to secure your seats. They go short, the Sharks. But Walker's picked it up and here comes Rocco Berry. Bursting downfield again. They just can't stop making big metres in this game. Run metres, the Warriors have got almost 300 more run metres now in the game than their opponents. A set restart now for the Warriors. Everything going their way. Here's Johnson to the line. Harris. Nickel puts that well handled there by Talakai. Harris again. Just take the carry. Plenty of tackles up their sleeve now as they enter the 10 once more. Heaps of options here. We're going to hit it, haul it out to Luke Metcalf. There's Ford through a gap. Try saving tackle coming in right there from Hines. It was a beauty. Metcalf. Harris on the short ball. Massive advantage in that stat right there for the Warriors. It's Johnson. Nickel Crookstar. Couldn't quite get his hands on the ball to free it up to Dallin. Watson is a Lesney up last play now. Johnson's kick. Comes down inside the field of play. And 
and it's come back off line, so it's going to be a line dropout. Johnson just overcooked that kick just a touch. But Hines, in the end, couldn't take it. Well, he got two hands to it. Just taken that. I've seen him take that above his head before. Harris to take the first carry. Warriors have outscored the Sharks 10 to nil in the second half so far. Tries to Nickel puts that into Josh Curran. Serenin. Very good. Oh, yeah, Serenin. Remember, he's been a dummy half on occasions too. Here's Johnson. Shot board of Curran. Love the timing. The offload was at Jim. There's Johnson. Beautiful stuff from Sean Johnson. Oh, yes, and Dallin. We've been waiting for that. Oh, that is pretty. And I'm not talking about the hair. The locks were flowing in the wind when he scored that try. Here we go, we see it again. Henry Feely. Here is another coconut. Dallin Watiza leaves the act. Came out through the back door. Sean Johnson stays alive. Beautiful pop pass back, back there from Curran. Draw and pass. And he scores. Honey, you must get excited about what you're seeing down there. Oh, absolutely. And the crowd is just getting right in behind the Warriors and the classy show that they are putting on there. But you put that down to Josh Curran. We saw him moments ago get involved in the previous try. And now, once again, Sean Johnson toying with the defenders. And we know Dallin is a quality finisher. Well, what about Sean Johnson? That was just class. That pass there. Now, watch Johnson here. Boom. The fake. And there's Willie Tallow caught in no man's land. And that was all Sean Johnson. Brilliant. It just sums it up beautifully. The extra pump to ensure he goes even a little bit deeper into line to ensure people jump on him and bite. And he puts his ring away. Yeah, boy, he says. <laughs> well, double for Dallin. Johnson. This is his first kick of the night from this angle. He's going to poke it over. Five from seven for Sean Johnson. 38 points to six. Well, it's just beautiful to watch, isn't it? Players in motion. So many options, the hidden spin there, like you say, all class from Sean Johnson and the finish from Dallin Watanuk to his neck. A couple of changes coming in from the Warriors. See, Freddie Lussick gets his time out on the field. On it, boys. Freddie Lussick, the only player not used by the Warriors until now. Bring this man back out on the field fresh. <laughs> Look at all the Warriors that have... Seven players have run for over 100 metres for the Warriors in this game, including Dylan Walker, 119 off the bench. And he's only been averaging 61 before this game. A magnificent performance from Dylan Walker. Start. Used as a decoy, Egan runs again. Oh, he's lost it. And it's unlucky there for Toby Rudolph to the tackle. They haven't stopped trying, they haven't stopped competing. And there's been some words to the referees March the Sharks 10 metres, Moss. Yeah, that's frustration. You're trying so hard, you're trying to turn the momentum, trying to do something to get your team up in a little play. It's real frustration sets in. Two has had a long break on the sideline, two months. Really encouraging signs to see Walker in particular. And Curran come off the bench and perform strongly. Here goes Metcalf again. Sean Johnson's down. 
Johnson's down a back play, and he's not in good shape. Uh-oh. Now, he had a word up to someone across the way from him, one of the Sharks players. He wasn't happy with the play once he had passed the ball. Rudolph looks like a collision there on the either the knee or the left ankle. He's clutching his left knee instantly there. It's okay, he's running it off. Egan, Metcalf, there's that shot ball to Ford again, it's ruled forward, that one. Everybody up, shot clock on. Pass up, middle. Shot clock's on, we're in the middle, boys. That was the right call. Doesn't help when you're running away from it, if you squared up a little bit and... The Sharks plat. He's giving the thumbs up. He's all right for the milk feed a little bit later on tonight, Kayla. He'll be fine. Yeah, the overnight chip from Sean Johnson. Talakai. Johnson in there. Good tackle from Sean Johnson. Cool, though, for Sean to go home tonight to his. Standard family, one new member, pretty cool. After the big win that they're going to seemingly enjoy here in Auckland this evening. Nikora. Hines. There's Moylan. Making that tackle was Jesse Colhoun. Braley, inside ball, and it's dropped by Sean Johnson. Johnson, tackles, 23 metres made. Tom Ali started the game for Test to come back on. Good, this good to give Ali another chance. Two months. It didn't have much impact at the start of the game, but you know the game scoreline as it is. It's good to get him back out there. Yeah, put it down to experience. His first start in the Warriors jumper, and it's a whole different ball game than coming off the bench when he runs a little bit more fatigued. So he knows what that's like now. Second stint now to really rip in. He's been a very good contributor off the bench, too. Stepping up after some big injuries over the last uh, 18 months or so. There's Gofusi. Set restart for the Sharks as Rudolph throws himself into the line. Braley. Moylan standing nice and flat there. Hines. And there's the pressure of the situation. Jesse Rang, a tough one for him to take. As well, Red, in defence, had the numbers up. And Mark Daniels, Montoya coming through then. Footsteps once again, just enough. Distract him. Didn't have eyes for the ball. And went back door. And we thought there was an opening there as well, so trying to rush the pass. Tries in the first half for the Warriors. Three in the second. And seven try in another. Very good performance from the Warriors. Sean Johnson coming up for a break. Johnson coming off. Well, I think with that little injury, no point taking a risk at this point. Mentioned experience and what it's like. We've seen what it's like without Captain Tori Harris. We haven't seen what life's been like without Sean Johnson. Now we get a taste of that. Ali. For Noah Blake. Metcalf. A chance for him to step up and manage the game too now. Mons. Egan will move into the halves with Lassick out there. There goes Egan with the kick. Back kick there is Katoa. Shrugs off Jackson Ford. 
accomplished right there. Oh, bigger challenges coming. The next one is the Raiders on Friday night, and then the Warriors, of course, have another bye. Their last of the season. The week after that one, as we see Talakai. Four games in New Zealand as well. Yeah. And a lot of games coming up against teams outside the top eight to end the season. Tenley goes to the Sharks. Have a look here. Add it, add it. That's good. That's Ramian gets play underway again. Hines. Can the Sharks get a couple of consolation tries here? Watch out now, Freddy. Add it. Hold. Go on. Braley. Quick release. As. Kalfusi, right on the 20. Jackson, clear it. Freddy, have a look. Go to. Braley. Moylan. Hines. Kennedy injects himself into the line again. Whoops. That's a dangerous tackle from Rocco Berry. On the board, Rocco. Yeah, not surprised that's going on report. Quickly taken by Colhoun. Here comes Moylan, Hines, Nikora runs that line so well. Well defended though by Jackson Ford. He's put in a very good shift defensively in this game. Surinam with a, a good solid tackle there, keeps the Sharks at bay. Hines looking for a second try, but he's caught in possession. Braley creates space for Moylan. Nikora! Nikora! Oh, did he get there? Yes, he has. The Kiwis' back rower is over. And it's try number eight for the season. Well, he got there in the end, but he had some work to do. Gets his teammate as well. This Kiwi teammate just shows you. He really some beautiful lines. This time coming up back against the Graham was Moylan. The corner there. Captain's challenge coming back here for a play a bit earlier on. If Jackson Ford had done me half. Is that up Jackson Ford, Matty? Bunker are just uh, checking a couple of things in the lead up to that try, but it, it looked pretty good, didn't it? What a wonderful part. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Wonderful part. I remember Daryl Halligan telling me when he was first picked in the Kiwis in the quarter a few years ago, now he was just so stoked. So proud. He's originally from the Bay of Plenty, of course. Quarter. There's the conversion going over by Nico Hines. So it's 38 points to 12. It's Matty Moylan coming back against the grain. You can see there. Beautiful. Just punches that. Had some work to do. Spin around. Charles with the initial contact was great. Both getting in the way. But he had the grip. Got the ball down. Fantastic determination from Nikora, honey. Yeah, great work. He's been busy all night here. And also, those extra two points added by Nico Hines takes him over 500 NRL points for this year. Great work from Nico. He's having a great year with the boot and the try scoring as well. The Warriors have made over 50, 60 tackles fewer than the Sharks in this game. Thought the Warriors keep going here to the end of the game, Monty. Points differential on a tight ladder is going to be critical. I have a feeling sort out a few spots. A stretch of the season. Good run from Colhoun. He's over the halfway line. Braley. Moylan. Nice play. And is that pass forward? It was. From Hines out to Muli Tallo. It's prizing play. Always love a short side when it's played at pace on their advantage line, but that time the ball just drifted forward a little bit. Nico Hines, wonderful play. The way he gets himself into position to put others in the clear. Hey, 
Uh, Walker and uh, Harris. Discussions on the sidelines. Shot clock off. Break. Hell, hell, release. Go one. Masak dummy half. Remember, Sean Johnson not out there at the moment. He's on the sidelines. Walker Walk and Harris. Walker and Johnson in particular have had fantastic games. Tom Ali. Be out there to lead in now with four minutes to play. Go three. Lusick for North Blake. Metcalf. Now Sirenin. Jesse, clear it. How will Much a uh, Jesse. shuffled four. spine. Still four. Still four. Nicely picked up there by Wade Egan, who's moved out of that dummy half roll. Last tackle, release it. Oregon. She started at six in one game last year. Here's Metcalf. Get it, he's lost it. Pompey's got it. And it's a fresh set for the Warriors. Montoya's right there. He knew he was going to have a crack. <laughs> Could have resisted. Oh, no, just there. And that's a penalty, and that's almost a professional foul, and it is. Nico Hines has been binned for 10. Well, you wouldn't have thought that your two star playmakers would have been off the field. Sean Johnson having a break. Nico Hines as well. Brilliant, Kennedy brilliant. getting up, but Pompey being there. So the, the Sharks ending this game with 12 men. It's been a disappointing return to New Zealand for them. It's forward. Pompey. Pompey. There's a try for Adam Pompey. He doesn't get over the line much in 2023. He'll enjoy that one. Oh, he sure enjoyed it. They're all queuing up. Wanted to score a try. That time he got in, had a few to beat as well. Cut in behind the ruck. I thought Adam Fenor Black was going to go in. It was a great offload. The ball kept alive. Be two, three, four defenders, honey. Well, I think regardless of the numerical difference here with Nico Hines going off, that try was bound to come because the Warriors were all up on their feet along with the crowd. It's a great way to finish off such a dominating performance for the Warriors. We wait for this try to be confirmed. His third try of the season, game number 71. One of the few Warriors has played in all games this season. Adam Pompey. Great play from Fenor Blake to create the opportunity. That's a nice feat, wasn't it? Try confirmed. Adam Pompey, but once again, the second phase after drawing in three or four defenders. Please, presence of mind to pass that ball. Still had some work to do. Swerve, footwork. And now the drink. Well, what about Fenor Blake's numbers? 187 metres from 16 carries and 22 tackles. What a machine. Now Luke Metcalf taking this conversion. Thought Pompey might take it himself with Johnson off. And Luke Metcalf hasn't kicked a goal in his NRL career. It is a brief career, of course. There you go. 100% in his career. It's always going to feel better against your old club as well. Greg him right. Always nice to get a win regardless. Look at that full person out on the sideline. That's some um, salary cap right there. Four tries in each half for the Warriors, which have been there. Another very good performance from them. And a big win in against the Dolphins. So see Egan mess that up. 22-point win back in round 14 here on this ground. 32-point margin, so the Warriors looking comfortably here at their biggest win at home this season. Four versus six for this. Knew they were coming with vengeance on their mind. And they keep him out for the last minute here.
Rudolph. Let up now, Trudy. Lock in square. Go one. Jack Williams. Let go now. Carries for the Sharks. Last 30 seconds of the game. Moylan. Yep, it's been one of those games in the end for the Sharks who have haven't lacked effort, but they've come up well short in the, as it turned out here, Monty. Absolutely. They have tried. A number of their players across the board. Try to come up with the play to turn momentum. Well, that'll do it here. From Go Media Stadium, Mount Smart this evening. Biggest win at home this season. I'm real sensitive now about anyone touching us, so I just don't want you to get in trouble. But if you come to me and just talk to me decent, I'll listen. And the 2023 research, resurgence season just rolls on for the Warriors, who win this game by 44 points to 12.